it's pretty dark right now. This is peonies I have to move. They're in a place that gets shade most of the day. And this whole flower bed that's in the front of the house. And along with the service berry. I'm going to try and stand way back so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is in the northwest corner and it gets shade from the house. That's the backyard going back there. There's a nice big tree. Here's another big tree. Big pine tree. And then I have another big pine tree. So when the sun clears the house around three in the afternoon, this little flower bed gets sun maybe four hours before it goes behind the shadows of these big trees. So I gotta move some flowers out and do some rearranging. This is my front yard. It has a, a path that is old and almost overgrown, but way to the side, it's kind of wonky with the house. Sorry about all the jumbling. So here's the road. I'm right at the edge of town. There's the edge of town. <laughs> Here's my house. So it comes down to the side. I kind of want to move it in between these big pine trees. Kind of coming down towards the center of my house. I have to put stairs on those houses. <laughs> that house. In future, I like to put some flower beds and such around the pine trees. And I have to do something with this swale. Maybe a French drain or whatever they're called. And this is the corner of my property where the snow blows in from that open field quite often through the winter. So my property line is just on this side of all those bushes. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna put some bushes here so that the snow can't blow across my driveway like it has. So when I park my cars, I always have to shovel a big snow drift behind me. So that's my little old house. The sun has already set. This tree, there's a lot of dead branches in it. I probably might have to take it down this year or next. So I want to plant some tree here to replace it. I was thinking a weeping willow. They have something here. Not, not sure about that one. So here's a little cement pad. A little walkway. I bought a whole bunch of pile of uh, steer manure <laughs> from co-op. 
So I have to still clean up my beds. These are th other things I have to move. These are Lily of the Valley. And I think when this tree, whoops, sorry, used to be more alive, it'd have more leaves. And maybe this part of my little flower bed got more shade. But this is dying back. And now this flower bed gets full sun all day. Right now it has poppies. Um, I, I did some bulbs. So some tulips and stuff are going to be coming up. My daffodils are already dying back. And some pink. Don't know if you can even see in this light. Oh, there's one. Pink tulips are starting to come up very hardy because they've been snowed on, frozen, frosted and everything. So they're coming up along with the poppies. And my daffodils I have to start coming back. But there's still one pretty little daffodil. And this poor thing um, it's supposed to bloom in late spring, but it got so much frost on it, it's pretty dried up. So I have to repot those. I still have to prune my poor little rose bush. And I have to stuff my garbage cans in the corner here or else they blow away. And I have to get rid of all this grass in my... in my lane. So this, well eventually, uh, we're going to get a ramp put in. This door has to be widened this summer. And my dad's in a wheelchair, so I'm going to get a ramp. It'll probably go all the way there, turn around, and come back to the front door. So this is my back back of my house. This is a chicken coop I converted into a cat coop. My kitty cats come out that window and they go into the cat coop. There's a little tower that goes down underneath the deck so that they can roam around and be outside while still being protected. We're digging up this. I might put a little planting bed here too. This is on the south side of my house. Oops, I'm swinging the ground again. And we have no trees, that's the neighbor's way over there. So it should get some nice sun. That's my little shed. Those stumps are on, I found out the neighbor's property. But I'm going to try and come down to the ground and plant trees in front of the stumps. And hopefully make a compost. Um, bins by the shed and then from the trees I want to have some shrub bushes and then some dogwoods and such that's my little apple tree so we have a little fire pit it's just surrounded by grass I can see if I can eventually put some stone or maybe a different fire bit upgraded a bit. I made those raised beds just today. Might move them further out because our property is quite big. It's just been all grass. My family's been mowing it for me and they said it's a huge yard to mow. So I might start putting stuff in it. So I'm going to try and get compost. I'm going to put some cardboard underneath these and put compost and dirt in them. And I'll probably be growing more of the vegetables for my parents. And uh, they'll get all the flowers. I want to get lots of flowers for mom this year. So this is 
a red dogwood. It's a little bush. That was, I gave it a trim the first time since being here this spring. I had planted cherry trees, but they accidentally got mowed over. <laughs> but they are coming up. There's just a little stick, but it has buds in it. So I'm thinking of putting a, a bed here so I have some pieces of wood to kind of define it. It's kind of big though. So I don't know if I'm going to surround it by wood or just leave it open bare soil or compost. So I'm right in the field. My backyard has a big field. There's our apple tree. It's an ornamental wrap apple tree. So you can't eat anything from it or anything. But it has beautiful blooms in the spring. The farmer sprayed something last year and it almost killed my tree. So we'll see how it does this year, if it blooms. So I'll have to start thinking about replacing that poor tree. So I'm gonna start planting things here. Cause I don't know if you can hear it, the wind's already blowing. The wind through here is quite severe in the winter, whenever storms come. So my property goes all the way back to about here in line with these trees. That's the neighbors, so that's my backyard, my back deck, my shed, my apple tree, and we're right by the yard. We're right on the edge of town. I have one neighbor and another neighbor behind those bushes and it's open field. So it's quite cold. Here comes my grandson. What are you doing? I'll stop now.